Hi, I'm Tanya from Elite Pilates Teacher Training. If you've seen all the other videos, you've probably said to me and saying that by now. But, <laughs> um, taking you through the next stretch today from our manual. And this is very, very good for those tight necks that we get. And I know some of the ladies love it. And it does help reduce headaches as well. Um, seated position is the best way to do this. And then how you sit, you can have your legs crossed. You can have your legs in a frog or butterfly. I get some ladies that have to have their legs straight um, because of the challenges that they have depending on their hips, knees and all those kinds of things. So I like to sit this way so that's how I'm going to sit. Uh, you want to sit nice and tall. The minute you slouch in this exercise you lose half of the effect. So we want to be um, erect towards the ceiling or a matron. <laughs> So I always giggle when I say that word, I'm such a child. So we'll start having the left hand on the knee, right hand goes behind the back. So whatever hand is behind the back, we go the opposite direction. So we go towards the hand that's on that. So tall, just drop your left ear to the shoulder, the left shoulder. So kind of relax into this rather than trying to jam it down there. Just let's see how long are those muscles. So I know I'm quite tight in the neck. And then breathe into the space. So you can see these muscles, look how tight they are there. So breathe in. Keep that spine nice and tall. So watch if this starts happening. So again, really good to do weight uh, looking at a mirror. So breathe in. Keep pulling the shoulder back and down. You can hold this for five breaths, ten breaths, two breaths, whatever you want to. Now take your chin to the collarbone. So if your legs are crossed, you're going to be looking in the direction of your knees. Still keeping your spine, be aware of dropping. And then drawing the chin down towards those collarbones. Now I can feel this right down into my right shoulder. You may not feel it there, you might feel it down the arm. Three, four breaths, ten breaths, whatever you want to do. And then taking your chin to the centre. So down between the bosoms, grow nice and tall, remember, keep checking your posture because that's really important and you can have a play with this. So when you're in your stretch, just slouch for a moment and notice how you lose some of the feeling in your body, the stretchiness. And then taking the, collar, the chin back to the collarbone, then a few breaths there. And ear back to shoulder. Keep drawing the shoulder down and away from that. And then head back up. And then you can do the other side. So that is neck stretch. So yeah. Take care. Bye.